Chapter 1. The Importance of Decision-Making Effective decision-making is crucial for leaders as it determines the course of action and shapes organizational outcomes. The ability to make informed and timely decisions is a key attribute of successful leaders. Without effective decision-making, organizations can become stagnant and fail to adapt to changing circumstances. Leadership is defined by the decisions that are made. It is through decision-making that leaders set the direction and goals for their teams. Whether it is a small decision or a strategic choice that affects the entire organization, leaders must carefully consider the potential impact on the team, stakeholders, and the organization as a whole. The importance of decision-making in leadership cannot be understated. It is the foundation upon which successful organizations are built. Effective decision-making enables leaders to navigate through uncertainty and complexity by assessing risks and opportunities. By weighing the pros and cons of different options, leaders can make well-informed choices that align with the organization's mission and vision. Decision-making is a continuous process in leadership. Leaders must constantly evaluate the impact of their decisions and adjust their course of action if necessary. This iterative approach allows leaders to learn from their experiences and make better decisions in the future. By reflecting on past decisions, leaders can identify areas for improvement and refine their decision-making skills. The outcomes of decision-making can have far-reaching effects on an organization. A well-made decision can lead to increased productivity, improved efficiency, and enhanced team morale. Conversely, a poor decision can have detrimental effects on employee engagement, organizational reputation, and ultimately, the bottom line. Therefore, Leaders must take the responsibility of decision-making seriously and strive to make choices that benefit the organization as a whole. In order to make effective decisions, leaders must consider a variety of factors. They must gather relevant information, analyze it objectively, and consider the potential consequences of each choice. It is also important for leaders to be adaptable and flexible in their decision-making approach as circumstances can change rapidly. Leadership is not just about making decisions independently. It is also about involving others in the decision-making process. By seeking input from team members, leaders can tap into diverse perspectives and ensure that decisions are well-rounded and comprehensive. This promotes a sense of ownership and inclusion, leading to higher levels of engagement and commitment from employees. Furthermore, leaders must be able to communicate their decisions effectively to their team. By explaining the rationale behind their choices and providing clear instructions, leaders can ensure that everyone is aligned and working towards the same goals. This fosters a sense of unity and cohesion within the organization. In conclusion, decision-making is a vital aspect of leadership. Effective decision-making not only determines the course of action, but also contributes to the overall success of an organization. Leaders must recognize the importance of decision-making and continually strive to improve their skills in this area. By making informed and timely decisions, leaders can navigate through uncertainty and shape the future of their organizations. Question, what is the significance of decision-making in leadership? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Decision-Making Process Chapter 2, The Decision-Making Process As the sun began to rise over the horizon, Mark found himself deep in thought. He had recently been promoted to a leadership position, and the weight of his new responsibilities was starting to settle in. He knew that effective decision-making was crucial for his success, and he felt the need to master the decision-making process. Mark understood that the first step in the decision-making process was to identify the problem at hand. He carefully examined the challenges his team was facing and pinpointed a particular issue that required immediate attention. 
With this problem in mind, he set out to gather information. He reached out to his team members, asking for their input and insights regarding the problem. He also conducted extensive research analyzing industry trends and studying best practices. Mark knew that having a comprehensive understanding of the situation would enable him to make a well-informed decision. Armed with a wealth of information, Mark began to analyze the various options available to him. He considered the potential risks and rewards associated with each choice. He assessed the feasibility and impact of different strategies, weighing the pros and cons. Mark understood that careful analysis would help him make the right choice. After much contemplation, Mark was ready to make a choice. He decided on a course of action that he believed would address the problem effectively. He felt confident in his decision and prepared himself for the implementation phase. With his decision made, Mark set his plan into motion. He communicated the details to his team, clarifying expectations and assigning tasks. He monitored the progress closely, ensuring that each step was executed with precision. Mark remained accessible to his team, providing support and guidance whenever needed. As time passed, Mark took the opportunity to evaluate the effectiveness of his decision. He analyzed the results and compared them to his initial goals. He considered feedback from his team and other stakeholders. This evaluation phase was crucial as it allowed Mark to assess whether his decision had achieved the desired outcomes. As he reflected on the process, Mark realized that decision-making was not a one-time occurrence. It was an iterative process that required continuous learning and improvement. He promised himself that he would always seek to refine his decision-making skills. Mark also recognized the power of involving others in the decision-making process. By seeking input and perspectives from his team, he would be able to make more well-rounded decisions. He understood that inclusivity and collaboration were key to fostering a sense of ownership and commitment among his team members. With each decision Mark made, he grew more confident in his abilities as a leader. He understood that effective decision-making played a crucial role in shaping the future of his team and organization. He was committed to honing his decision-making skills knowing that it was a vital attribute of successful leaders. As the sun set on another day, Mark felt a sense of satisfaction. He knew that the decision-making process was challenging but rewarding. By following this process and continually evaluating the effectiveness of his decisions, he was confident that he could guide his team to success. Question, what are the key steps involved in the decision-making process? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Rational Decision Making Chapter 3, Rational Decision Making As Mark delved deeper into his leadership role, he became increasingly aware of the importance of rational decision making. He realized that a logical and systematic approach was essential for making sound choices that would drive his team towards success. Mark understood that her rational decision-making process relied heavily on the available data. He sought to gather as much information as possible, ensuring he had a comprehensive understanding of the situation at hand. This approach allowed him to make informed choices based on factual evidence, rather than relying on gut feelings or assumptions. To ensure the objectivity of his decisions, Mark made a conscious effort to minimize biases. He recognized that biases could cloud his judgment and lead to flawed decision-making. Mark challenged himself to consider different perspectives and actively seek out dissenting opinions. This critical evaluation of ideas helped him overcome his own biases and make rational choices. With a clear focus on maximizing outcomes, Mark carefully assessed the potential consequences of each alternative. He weighed the risks and rewards, considering both short-term and long-term impacts. This meticulous evaluation allowed him to determine the best course of action, 
that would lead to the most favorable outcomes for his team and organization. As he honed his rational decision-making skills, Mark also became adept at analyzing the logical connections between different options. He recognized that a systematic approach required him to consider the cause and effect relationships, identifying the potential implications of each choice. This analytical thinking enabled him to make decisions that aligned with the goals and values of his team. Mark leveraged the power of available data to make objective decisions. He understood that data-driven choices could lead to more accurate predictions and reduce the risks of uncertainty. By utilizing data, analysis tools, and metrics, Mark was able to make informed decisions rooted in evidence and facts. As he navigated through the decision-making process, Mark recognized the importance of continuous evaluation and learning. He embraced feedback from his team and stakeholders, analyzing the outcomes of his decisions. This reflective practice allowed him to identify areas for improvement, making adjustments to his approach for future decision-making. One of the key lessons Mark learned was the significance of involving his team in the rational decision-making process. He understood that collective intelligence could generate innovative solutions and foster a sense of ownership among his team members. By encouraging open dialogue and collaborative problem-solving, Mark was able to tap into the diverse perspectives and expertise within his team, ultimately leading to better decision outcomes. Mark's commitment to rational decision-making paid off. His team thrived under his leadership, as they witnessed the positive impact of his well-reasoned choices. The trust and confidence they had in him grew, further solidifying their dedication to achieving their shared goals. As Mark reflected on his journey, he realized that rational decision-making was a continuous practice. It required him to constantly analyze, evaluate, and adapt his approach. He embraced this challenge, knowing that it was a crucial skill for effective leadership. Mark was determined to make rational decisions that would guide his team to achieve outstanding results, and he knew that by following a systematic and logical approach, he would continue to succeed. Question, what is rational decision-making and how does it benefit leaders? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Intuitive Decision-Making As Mark continued his exploration of effective decision-making, he delved into the realm of intuitive decision-making in Chapter 4. He recognized that while rational decision-making was essential, there were situations that called for a more instinctive approach. Leaders' instincts, he discovered, were a valuable tool in decision-making. Mark understood that his years of experience had honed his intuition, allowing him to quickly assess and respond to complex situations. Drawing upon his knowledge and past experiences, he found that his subconscious mind could provide valuable insights that were difficult to capture through rational analysis alone. In uncertain situations, where time was of the essence, leaders often needed to make quick decisions. Mark realized that relying solely on logical reasoning in such cases might lead to delays and missed opportunities. By tapping into his intuition, he could make swift decisions with confidence, knowing that his instincts were grounded in his wealth of experiences. However, he acknowledged that intuitive decision-making was not without its risks. It required careful consideration to ensure accuracy. Mark understood that his instincts could be influenced by biases and emotional factors. To mitigate these risks, he consciously made an effort to pause and reflect before acting on his intuition. He asked himself critical questions and evaluated the potential pros and cons of each option, balancing his instincts with a rational analysis. Mark also recognized the importance of context in intuitive decision-making. He knew that his intuition was most reliable in areas where he had deep expertise and familiarity. In those cases, his subconscious mind could make connections that his rational mind might overlook. However, in unfamiliar situations, 
he relied more heavily on rational decision-making to avoid potential pitfalls. To strengthen his intuitive decision-making skills, Marx sought opportunities to practice. He engaged in activities that challenged and expanded his thinking, exposing himself to new experiences and perspectives. By actively seeking out diverse experiences, he broadened his intuitive repertoire, making it easier for him to navigate through complex and uncertain scenarios. Mark also found it valuable to seek input from trusted advisors and team members. Their perspectives provided additional insights that complemented his own intuition. This collaborative approach ensured a more well-rounded decision-making process, reducing the chances of overlooking crucial factors. Throughout his journey into intuitive decision-making, Mark was amazed at the results. While rational decision-making provided a solid foundation, he realized that his instincts could cut through the noise and guide him towards effective choices. His ability to make quick, accurate decisions in complex and uncertain situations improved significantly. As Mark reflected on his growth as a leader, he understood that the key to effective decision-making was finding the right balance between rationality and intuition. Some situations required a logical analysis, while others called for trusting his instincts. By cultivating both approaches and learning to switch between them fluidly, Mark became a more versatile and agile decision-maker. Mark concluded his exploration with a newfound appreciation for intuitive decision-making. He recognized that it was a valuable tool in his leadership toolbox, one that enabled him to navigate through the dynamic and unpredictable world of business. With a deepened understanding of both rational and intuitive decision-making, Mark felt confident in his ability to guide his team towards success, no matter the circumstances. Question, how does intuitive decision-making play a role in effective leadership? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Analytical Decision-Making In his pursuit of effective decision-making, Mark ventured into the realm of analytical decision-making in Chapter 5. He understood that while intuition was valuable, there were situations that demanded a more systematic and data-driven approach. Analytical decision-making, Mark discovered, relied on gathering and analyzing data to inform choices. He recognized the importance of thorough research and data collection before making any decision of significance. Whether it was market trends, financial data, or customer feedback, Mark understood that having accurate and relevant information was critical to making informed and impactful decisions. To ensure the quality of his data, Mark paid close attention to the sources and methods used. He sought out reliable sources and verified their credibility. He also employed frameworks and models to guide his analysis, ensuring that he considered all relevant factors and variables. By organizing his data and applying analytical structures, he could make sense of complex information and draw meaningful insights. As Mark delved deeper into the realm of analytical decision-making, he realized the power of evidence-based decisions. By relying on concrete evidence, he reduced the effects of biases and subjective opinions that could cloud his judgments. This approach allowed him to make objective decisions based on logical reasoning. Mark understood that the process of gathering and analyzing data required time and resources. However, he recognized that the benefits far outweighed the investment. By making evidence-based decisions, he was able to assess risks more accurately and identify opportunities that were hidden beneath the surface. The thorough analysis of data provided a strong foundation for his decision-making, instilling confidence in the choices he made. A key aspect of analytical decision-making was the ability to interpret and understand data effectively. Mark honed his analytical skills by developing a keen eye for patterns and trends. He trained himself to spot relevant insights and draw connections between seemingly unrelated data points. By mastering the art of data analysis, Mark gained a valuable edge in decision-making. 
However, Mark acknowledged that analytical decision-making was not without its limitations. He understood that while data provided valuable insights, it could not capture every nuance of a situation. There were times when he had to rely on his intuition to fill in the gaps that data alone could not address. By striking a delicate balance between rational analysis and intuition, Mark ensured that his decisions were well-rounded and comprehensive. To continue enhancing his analytical decision-making skills, Mark saw opportunities to learn and grow. He attended workshops and seminars on data analysis and familiarized himself with the latest tools and techniques. He also encouraged his team members to embrace analytical thinking, fostering a data-driven culture within the organization. By continuously refining his approach to analytical decision, Making, Mark, became more adept at navigating through complex business challenges. As Mark reflected on his journey into analytical decision-making, he realized that it had transformed his leadership style. He no longer relied solely on his intuition, but embraced a more systematic and deliberate approach. The ability to gather and analyze data allowed him to make more informed and impactful decisions, driving his team towards success. With his newfound expertise, Mark felt empowered to tackle even the most complex problems that came his way. He understood that analytical decision-making was not just a skill, but a mindset, a way of thinking that allowed him to approach challenges with clarity and confidence. Armed with this approach, Mark knew that he was equipped to make sound decisions that would shape the future of his organization. Question, what is analytical decision making and why is it essential for leaders? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6, Group Decision Making. In the sixth chapter of his book, Mark delved into the intricacies of group decision making, recognizing its potential to harness collective knowledge and diverse perspectives. He understood that involving a team in the decision-making process brought together a range of experiences and insights, leading to better problem-solving and increased innovation. Mark discovered that group decision-making offered a unique advantage, the ability to tap into the wealth of knowledge possessed by individuals within the team. Instead of relying solely on his own expertise, Mark realized that by involving others, he could access a wider range of ideas and perspectives. Each team member brought their unique background, skills, and experiences to the table, enriching the decision-making process with their diverse perspectives. With this diverse pool of knowledge, the team was better equipped to tackle complex problems. Mark observed that by fostering an environment where everyone felt comfortable sharing their opinions, a rich tapestry of ideas emerged. Each team member contributed their thoughts and suggestions, providing a more comprehensive and holistic view of the situation at hand. Mark also recognized that group decision-making fostered increased innovation within the team. As team members bounced ideas off one another, creativity flourished. The collective brainstorming sessions allowed for the exploration of novel solutions and approaches. With the amalgamation of diverse perspectives, the team was able to think beyond traditional boundaries and challenge the status quo. Moreover, group decision-making had a profound impact on team cohesion. By involving each team member in the decision-making process, Mark noticed a strengthened sense of ownership and commitment. When individuals felt valued and included, they became more engaged and invested in the team's success. As a result, collaboration and cooperation flourished, enhancing the overall cohesion of the team. However, Mark understood that group decision-making was not without its challenges. He noticed that differing opinions and conflicting perspectives could sometimes lead to tension and disagreements within the team. To mitigate this, Mark fostered an environment of open communication and respect. He encouraged active listening and ensured that every team member had an opportunity to express their views. 
by facilitating constructive dialogue and managing conflicts effectively, Mark ensured that the decision-making process remained focused and productive. To optimize the benefits of group decision-making, Mark also paid attention to the dynamics within the team. He ensured that the team composition was diverse, encompassing individuals with different backgrounds, skills, and perspectives. This diversity brought forth a range of ideas and approaches, fueling creativity and innovation. Mark also promoted a culture of trust and psychological safety, where every team member felt comfortable sharing their thoughts without fear of judgment. As he continued to explore the realm of group decision-making, Mark realized that it was a skill that required constant refinement. He sought feedback from team members and reflected on the effectiveness of the decision-making process. By learning from each experience, Mark honed his ability to facilitate group discussions and guide the team towards optimal decisions. In conclusion, group decision-making empowered Mark and his team to tap into collective knowledge and diverse perspectives, leading to better problem-solving, increased innovation, and enhanced team cohesion. By embracing the power of collaboration, Mark witnessed the transformational impact it had on the organization. Group decision-making became a catalyst for growth and success, setting the stage for a future where the team's collective wisdom propelled them to new heights. Question, how does group decision-making contribute to effective leadership? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7, Ethical Decision-Making in the seventh chapter focusing on ethical decision-making, Mark delved into the importance of moral values and fairness in the decision-making process. He recognized that ethical decision-making required careful consideration of the long-term consequences and the responsibility that came with being a leader. Mark believed that ethical decision-making was not just about adhering to a set of rules, but rather about making choices that aligned with one's core values. He emphasized the significance of upholding integrity and acting in a manner that demonstrated trustworthiness. Mark understood that ethical behavior went beyond the immediate situation and encompassed the larger impact on individuals and society as a whole. As he embarked on this journey of ethical decision-making, Mark understood that responsible leadership played a crucial role. He realized that he had a responsibility to lead by example and set a high moral standard for his team. Mark believed that ethical leaders were accountable for their actions and guided their teams by prioritizing fairness, transparency, and honesty in decision-making processes. To facilitate ethical decision-making, Mark established a framework that incorporated various ethical perspectives and principles. He encouraged open discussions where team members could voice their opinions and concerns freely. Mark believed that by considering different viewpoints, he could make more informed decisions that took into account the diverse needs and perspectives of his team. Mark also recognized the importance of evaluating the potential long-term consequences of decisions. He understood that short-term gains should not overshadow the ethical implications of actions. Mark encouraged his team to think beyond immediate benefits and consider the broader impact of their choices on stakeholders and the organization's reputation. Moreover, Mark placed great emphasis on cultivating trust within his team. He believed that trust was the foundation of any successful ethical decision-making process. Mark promoted an environment where team members felt comfortable expressing their views and concerns without fear of judgment or reprisal. By fostering trust, Mark created an atmosphere of psychological safety enabling open and honest dialogue among his team members. Throughout their ethical decision-making journey, Mark and his team faced several challenges. They encountered situations where ethical dilemmas were complex, and finding a resolution that satisfied all parties involved seemed nearly impossible. In these instances, Mark emphasized the importance of rigorous analysis seeking expert advice if necessary, and engaging in thoughtful deliberation 
to ensure they reach a fair and ethical decision. Mark also emphasized the importance of continuous improvement in ethical decision-making. He acknowledged that it was a skill that required ongoing learning and development. Mark encouraged his team to reflect on their decisions, seeking feedback and learning from any missteps. By consistently striving to improve their ethical decision-making abilities, Mark and his team continued to strengthen their ethical consciousness and ensure their actions aligned with their moral values. In conclusion, ethical decision-making was a fundamental aspect of responsible leadership for Mark and his team. By prioritizing moral values, fairness, and long-term consequences, they navigated complex dilemmas and ensured their actions were guided by integrity and trust. Through ongoing reflection and learning, Mark empowered his team to make ethical decisions that upheld their responsibility as leaders and created a positive impact on the organization and its stakeholders. Question. Why is ethical decision-making important for leaders? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8. Emotional Intelligence in Decision-Making as Mark and his team continued their exploration of ethical decision-making, they realized the importance of emotional intelligence in the decision-making process. Emotional intelligence, which encompasses the ability to manage emotions, understand others' feelings, and make empathetic decisions, was a key factor in their quest for balanced and effective decision-making. Mark recognized that emotions played a significant role in decision-making. He understood that one's emotional state could influence the choices they make and the impact those choices have on others. Therefore, he encouraged his team to develop their emotional intelligence skills to ensure they made well-informed and empathetic decisions. To begin, Mark emphasized the need for self-awareness among his team members. He encouraged them to recognize and understand their own emotions, as well as how those emotions might affect their decision-making. By being aware of their emotional state, they could better manage their biases and avoid making impulsive or rash choices. Furthermore, Mark urged his team to cultivate empathy in their decision-making processes. He believed that considering the emotions and perspectives of others was crucial to making fair and balanced decisions. By putting themselves in others' shoes, they could better understand the potential impact their choices may have on different individuals or groups. In order to facilitate empathetic decision-making, Mark encouraged his team to actively listen and seek different viewpoints. He believed that by valuing diverse perspectives and opinions, they could make more informed decisions that took into account the needs and feelings of all stakeholders involved. Mark fostered an environment where team members felt comfortable expressing their emotions and concerns openly, which allowed for a deeper understanding of the situation at hand. In addition, Mark emphasized the importance of managing emotions during the decision-making process. He recognized that emotions, if left unchecked, could cloud judgment and lead to irrational or biased decisions. Mark encouraged his team to practice emotional regulation techniques such as deep breathing or taking breaks when emotions ran high, enabling them to approach decisions with a clear and rational mindset. Throughout their journey of emotional intelligence and decision-making, Mark and his team faced various challenges. They encountered situations where emotions were running high and it was difficult to separate personal feelings from the decision-making process. In these instances, Mark reminded his team of the importance of stepping back and objectively evaluating the situation. By recognizing their emotions and managing them effectively, they could make decisions based on logic and fairness rather than being swayed by temporary emotions. As their emotional intelligence skills continued to develop, Mark and his team noticed a positive impact on their decision-making. They found that by being more in tune with their emotions and those of others, they were able to make decisions that were not only effective but also compassionate. 
This empathetic approach to decision-making cultivated trust and goodwill among team members and stakeholders alike. In conclusion, Chapter 8 highlighted the significance of emotional intelligence in decision-making. By managing emotions, practicing empathy, and making balanced decisions, Mark and his team were able to navigate complex challenges with greater clarity and compassion. They recognized that emotions were a factor in decision-making and actively worked to regulate and understand their own feelings and those of others. Through their commitment to emotional intelligence, Mark and his team continued to enhance their ability to make effective decisions that considered the needs and emotions of everyone involved. Question, how does emotional intelligence influence decision-making? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9, Overcoming Decision-Making Paralysis Chapter 9, Overcoming Decision-Making Paralysis As Mark and his team delved deeper into the complexities of decision-making, they encountered a common hurdle known as decision-making paralysis. This phenomenon often occurred when faced with a multitude of options, causing individuals to become overwhelmed and unable to make a choice. Mark understood the importance of overcoming this paralysis to avoid stagnation in their progress. Therefore, he introduced techniques to address this challenge effectively. One of the first strategies Mark implemented was the establishment of clear deadlines for decision-making. He recognized that without specific timelines, the team could easily fall into a state of analysis paralysis endlessly weighing pros and cons without making any concrete decisions. By setting firm deadlines, Mark ensured that the team remained focused and motivated to make timely choices. Another approach Mark employed was seeking input from others. He acknowledged that relying solely on his own perspective and expertise could limit the team's ability to consider all relevant factors. Mark encouraged everyone to contribute their insights and opinions, creating a collaborative environment that valued multiple perspectives. This approach not only enabled the team to gather a wide range of information, but also facilitated a sense of ownership and responsibility among the members. To further combat decision-making paralysis, Mark introduced the concept of weighted decision matrices. He understood that assigning values and weights to different criteria could assist in objectively evaluating options. By quantifying each criterion's importance, the team could make more informed comparisons and avoid getting stuck in endless deliberation. This method provided a structured approach to decision-making, allowing for thoughtful and systematic evaluations. Mark also emphasized the significance of considering the long-term consequences of decisions. He encouraged the team to analyze potential outcomes and evaluate their impacts on various stakeholders. This critical thinking exercise allowed them to move beyond immediate concerns and consider the broader implications of their choices. By recognizing the long-term effects, they could make decisions that aligned with their values and goals. Throughout their efforts to overcome decision-making paralysis, Mark and his team faced a few challenges. They occasionally encountered disagreements among team members as different perspectives and priorities clashed. However, rather than viewing these disagreements as obstacles, Mark used them as opportunities for creative thinking and synthesis of ideas. He encouraged open and respectful discussions, fostering an environment where differing viewpoints were valued and viewed as potential sources of innovation. As the team gradually integrated these strategies into their decision-making process, they noticed considerable progress. They became more adept at recognizing the signs of decision-making paralysis and implementing countermeasures promptly. The structured approach provided by weighted decision matrices helped them navigate through complex choices with greater ease and confidence. By seeking input from others and considering multiple perspectives, the team tapped into a wealth of knowledge and experiences. 
This diversity of viewpoints provided a rich foundation for making well-informed decisions. Furthermore, the team's commitment to evaluating long-term consequences allowed them to move forward with a heightened understanding of the potential effects their choices might have. In conclusion, Chapter 9 explored the challenge of decision-making paralysis and the strategies employed to overcome it. Mark and his team found that setting clear deadlines, gathering input from others, utilizing weighted decision matrices, and considering long-term consequences were effective methods for combating analysis paralysis. These techniques enabled the team to make timely and informed decisions, propelling them forward and preventing stagnation. With each successful application of these strategies, Mark and his team became more adept at navigating complex choices, ultimately enhancing their ability to tackle challenges with confidence and clarity. Question. What strategies can leaders employ to overcome decision-making paralysis? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10. Learning from Decision-Making Mistakes Chapter 10. Learning from decision-making mistakes as Mark and his team continued their journey of improving their decision-making skills, they realized the importance of learning from their mistakes. They understood that making mistakes was a natural part of the process and that opportunities for growth and improvement lay within those errors. In Chapter 10, they explored how reflecting on their decision-making processes, identifying root causes, seeking feedback, and continuously improving their approach could lead to more successful outcomes. Reflecting on their decision-making processes was a fundamental step for Mark and his team. They understood that taking the time to review past decisions and their outcomes would provide valuable insights. Reflecting allowed them to identify any strengths or weaknesses in their approach, enabling them to build on their successes and address areas for improvement. Mark encouraged the team to engage in open and honest discussions where they shared their perspectives on what went well and what could have been done differently. Identifying the root causes of their decision-making mistakes was crucial for Mark and his team. They realized that surface-level analysis of mistakes may only scratch the surface of the issue. In order to truly enhance their decision-making skills, they needed to dig deeper and understand the underlying factors that contributed to their errors. By identifying the root causes, they would be able to develop targeted solutions and prevent similar mistakes from occurring in the future. Seeking feedback from others was another key strategy that Mark and his team adopted. They recognized that an outside perspective could offer valuable insights and alternative viewpoints. Mark encouraged team members to seek feedback from colleagues, mentors, or other trusted individuals who could provide constructive criticism. This feedback allowed them to gain fresh perspectives, challenge their assumptions, and uncover blind spots that they may have overlooked. By actively seeking feedback, Mark and his team were able to gain a more comprehensive understanding of their decision-making processes and make more informed choices. Continuous improvement became a central focus for Mark and his team. They realized that in order to enhance their decision-making skills, they needed to constantly evaluate and refine their approach. This involved embracing a growth mindset, where mistakes were viewed as learning opportunities and stepping stones for improvement. Mark encouraged the team to think critically about their past decisions and consider ways they could have approached the situation differently. By continuously striving to refine their decision-making processes, the team was able to develop a more efficient and effective approach. Throughout their journey of learning from decision-making mistakes, Mark and his team faced challenges along the way. It was not always easy to confront their errors and analyze them objectively. However, they recognized that this was a necessary part of the learning process. By encouraging open and transparent discussions, Mark fostered an environment where team members felt comfortable discussing their mistakes and brainstorming solutions together. 
As time went on, Mark and his team began to see the benefits of their efforts. By reflecting on their decision-making processes, they gained a deeper understanding of their strengths and weaknesses. Identifying the root causes of their mistakes allowed them to implement targeted solutions and prevent similar errors from occurring in the future. Seeking feedback from others provided fresh perspectives and challenged their assumptions, enabling them to make more informed choices. Through continuous improvement, they refined their decision-making approach and grew as individuals and as a team. In conclusion, Chapter 10 focused on the importance of learning from decision-making mistakes. Mark and his team recognized the value in reflecting on their processes, identifying root causes, seeking feedback, and continuously improving their approaches. They understood that mistakes were opportunities for growth and embraced a growth mindset to enhance their decision-making skills. Through their commitment to learning and improvement, Mark and his team became more adept at making informed and effective choices, propelling them towards success. Question. How can leaders learn from their decision-making mistakes? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11, Building a Culture of Effective Decision-Making Chapter 11, Building a Culture of Effective Decision-Making in their pursuit of becoming a high-performing team, Mark and his colleagues recognized the need to establish an effective decision-making culture. They understood that a strong culture would foster open communication, empower employees, implement decision-making frameworks, and promote recognition and rewards for successful outcomes. With these keywords in mind, they set out to create a culture that would support their vision and drive their team towards continued success. Open communication was the cornerstone of Mark and his team's decision-making culture. They believed that an environment built on trust and transparency would encourage team members to freely express their ideas, questions, and concerns. Open communication not only allowed for a diverse range of perspectives, but it also fostered an atmosphere where everyone felt valued and heard. Mark encouraged team members to actively participate in discussions, share their insights, and challenge each other's assumptions. By promoting open communication, they were able to tap into the collective wisdom of the team and make more informed decisions. Empowering employees played a pivotal role in building an effective decision-making culture. Mark understood that decision-making should not be limited to a select few individuals, but rather should be distributed throughout the team. He believed in empowering employees by providing them with the necessary information, resources, and authority to make decisions within their areas of expertise. This empowerment not only increased team members' job satisfaction and confidence, but it also enhanced the overall effectiveness of the team. Mark encouraged individuals to take ownership of their decisions and celebrated their autonomy and responsibility. Implementing decision-making frameworks was another strategy employed by Mark and his team. They understood that having structured processes in place would guide their decision-making efforts and ensure consistency. By utilizing frameworks such as SWOT analysis, cost-benefit analysis, or the decision matrix, the team was able to approach decisions with a systematic and analytical mindset. These frameworks provided a framework for evaluating options, weighing risks and benefits, and ultimately arriving at the best possible solution. Mark encouraged team members to become familiar with these decision-making tools and to utilize them as a guide in their decision-making processes. Recognizing success was an important aspect of the decision-making culture that Mark and his team created. They understood the importance of celebrating and acknowledging successful outcomes as a way of reinforcing positive decision-making practices. Mark regularly highlighted examples of decisions that had led to positive results and praised the team members involved. This recognition not only boosted morale and motivation, but it also demonstrated the value placed on effective decision-making. 
Mark encouraged team members to share their successes with the rest of the team, fostering a supportive and collaborative environment. Rewarding successful outcomes was the final piece in building a culture of effective decision-making. Mark believed that tangible rewards, such as bonuses or promotions, served as powerful motivators and incentives for high performance. He worked closely with the organization's leadership to establish a rewards system that recognized and valued effective decision-making. By linking rewards to successful outcomes, the team was incentivized to consistently strive for excellence in their decision-making processes. Mark also championed the idea of continuous improvement, where team members were encouraged to learn from both their successes and failures in order to refine their decision-making skills. As Mark and his team progressed in their journey to build a culture of effective decision-making, they began to experience a shift in their dynamics and outcomes. Through open communication and empowered decision-making, team members felt a sense of ownership and accountability. Decision-making frameworks provided structure and guidance, ensuring thorough and well-informed choices. Recognizing and rewarding successful outcomes boosted morale and motivation, driving the team towards continuous improvement and growth. In conclusion, Chapter 11 emphasized the importance of building a culture of effective decision-making. Mark and his team understood that an environment based on open communication, empowerment, decision-making frameworks, recognition, and rewards was vital to their success. By fostering a culture that valued informed and collaborative decision-making, they created a strong foundation for their team to thrive. As they embraced this culture and continued to refine their decision-making processes, Mark and his colleagues set themselves up for continued success and achievement. Question. How can leaders foster a culture of effective decision-making within their organization?